Hey you skellywags! I was really looking forward to Joy Toy's librarian in Terminator armor, but didn't immediately pick him up when I found out about his wonky eyes. But I finally decided to pick him up when I found a solution to the wonky eye problem. Shut up and sit down. As there are plenty of reviews out already, I'll go through things as briefly as I can before we get to the main event. As you can see, he's wielding his axe already. He comes with this as well, this pendant thingy my bobby. Very good. This holding hand, left hand. Got the right one there. This trigger finger hand. And he's got this magic hand type thing with his palm painted in lovely metallic blue. He also has two fisted hands, which is the first and I think only time I've seen him for the new Termies. And this book, this hefty Bible of a book. So I was really into this look of the Terminator Librarian from the 10th edition trailer. But the eyes really put me off and I think mine is the worst that I've seen. What really surprised me though was how smooth and easy he is to pose about. He's the most poseable of all the Terminators that are out so far that I've got anyway in my collection. Getting this head out is going to be a real problem. But yeah, just very, very nice being able to move him. I didn't have to do anything to him either. I didn't have to put any uh, lubrication or. Oh, yeah, this is the worst part though. Look, look at that bend of the knee. You have to kind of put it back like that, but even then. It's not the best, but yeah, I don't know why it doesn't work the same as the other Terminators for some reason. Yeah, there is just... Anyway, he does feel really good in hand. I think it's primarily with the torso and the arms being able to move very, very smoothly. And I didn't have to do anything to... Um, to make posing easier. Usually I'll sort of get Vaseline on, on these guys, but he did not need it. No lubrication required. You can do so many cool poses. It's really with the torso. I was able to move so much there. And moving the arms is is really nice as well. And he can hold a pose very well. Good balance. Very nice figure. So as you've probably figured out, I'll be changing this head. I've not removed this before. I've not attempted to put in the new helmeted head. But it looks like it may be a bit of a challenge. So this painted Librarian Terminator head is from Cool Toys Club. If you want your own, you can check the link in the description and use my code Skelly for, I think it's 5% off. This is done very, very nicely. But one of the big issues is this hole seems a bit too small to go over the ball joint. Not only is there very little real estate within here to actually get the head through, it's getting that hole in... Oh, gosh. So here's the librarian with his Terminator helmet. And it was a lot easier to put in than I thought. I think I found a secret feature. These bits here were a bit loose and I thought, oh, maybe it's not glued in properly. But I found you can actually take this hood off with ease. And... For me, there was no glue in there. Just these holes where you can put the tabs in. You can pop the helmet straight on as the plastic for the holes is actually quite soft. And you can see the tabs there as well. So 
yeah, very cool feature. If it is a feature, I mean, let me know if your librarian can do the same. But that seems like a great little addition by Joyter to allow you to remove that hood with a very little issue. So here's the librarian head outside of the hood. You can see I may attempt to just maybe paint his eyes in white so I can have it as, as an alternate look. So very pleased with how this came out and how easy it was. I was kind of thinking it was going to be a real uh, problem to try and get that helmet on, but very, very easy. And this, let's get him in this Terminator librarian pose. He's going to swing his axe. Here's your standard 118 scale 4 inch figure. And here's a 7 inch McFarlane Warhammer figure. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think this is a better look for the librarian? If you have the librarian, can your hood come off like mine? If you want your own librarian helmet, go check out Cool Toys Club, link in the description. Use my code Skelly for money off. And you can check out my other affiliates as well in the description. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up. For more content, subscribe. And I'll scale you later.